right at the beginning, I'd like to say that, you know, this year you complete uh, 14 years of uh, studio aesthetic and obviously you've done a lot of work in these last uh, 14 years. But what are some of the things which really stand out, which uh, you would say sort of, you know, you really made a difference uh, to certain people's lives, which you would sort of remember. So tell us about uh, uh, that, that work. So our signature procedure, everybody does everything, but our signature procedure was basal lipo selection. It is like a body sculpting, not liposuction, but body sculpting with a very fine tube. And it's so safe that we can take almost 10 to 12 liters of fat out at one go and the patient goes home the same night. So that has been the most miraculous thing that we have been able to give to so many people. Right. And, uh, you know, compared to liposuction, it's a lot safer, lot simpler, more patient-friendly, <clears throat> more patient-friendly. It takes a long time for the doctor. Where lipo 45 minutes, there almost three to four hours like this. But it's like a sculpture of Tarashta and a very good not a Lohar ka it has finished so which is, is very special and i think that has been our strength okay Baki techniques everybody everywhere but this is the one one thing which you like you mentioned that uh, sort of uh, sets you apart sets your clinic apart now in yes. the in the beginning 14 years back you know how was it starting off this entire thing how did you come up uh, with the idea and how did you go about it because it's a it's a new it's a new venture of course which you're going about so tell me a bit about that so Priyanka was shooting Dostana in Florida. It was a two-month schedule and I was with her. And uh, my sister was a neurophysician. And she sent me a flyer saying, why are you wasting your time two months? You are an ENT specialist. Why don't you join this particular course? Hmm. They're offering Botox fillers and mesotherapy. I said, this is not my field. So she said, no kind of education is going to let you down. Do it. Don't waste your two months. Because I was just faffing around, sitting on a set, wasting time. So that's how I signed up. And from American Institute of Aesthetics, I did all the three courses in those two months. And I was hooked. And it was a hands-on training. So I did lots of patients over there. My hands-on training was So I got hooked, came back, told my husband, that this is a very good thing. We are in and there's no clinic in Mumbai. This is, I'm talking 2008. Hmm. complete services there was no clinic in So we decided that okay, we will set up one. And Chopra was a surgeon. So he went immediately. He went to Italy. He went to Israel. He went to South America. He went to different places. And he trained in this visa. He trained in 4D. And what are sort of the, I mean... Through this entire journey, as far as entrepreneurship is concerned, what are the kind of lessons which you've probably learned, which you weren't aware of before, but it's, uh, you know, like you say, people eat it, people eat it. So that's sort of a thing which you've uh, sort of learned through the journey. The most important thing is that we are homo sapiens, sensible, intelligent breed. We are going to be able to acquire all kinds of knowledge, but it will come to the work of the work. Netflix help unless you know you have worked all day and you want a break. We started a career in a new city, yeah. in a new way post retirement. Right. So never say never. Humne yehi sikha. Never say never. You know, being a mother to uh, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, who literally went to the top of Bollywood and now she's conquering Hollywood. What is that really like? You know, because there is so much of media attention. There is so much of, uh, I mean, there's a lot of fame. There's a lot of pressure at the same time. There's a lot of responsibility. There are always eyes on you, eyes on you, on your daughter. So what is that like? I mean. I'll tell you about the media. I They have all been excellent to me. They have really become like friends to me. So I've never seen the ugly side of media jo log kehte hai. But haan, social media, koi dikhta nahi, koi sunta nahi, bolti. you don't know who is doing what. Mm. trolling hoti, I don't care about that. I, it doesn't matter one bit mm. about these anonymous people. But mere saamne jo log hoti, 
तो अभी तक मैं एक भी बुरा इंसान नहीं मिली हूँ एक जना भी मुझसे पूरी तरीके से नहीं पूछा कोई क्वेश्चन मुझे एम्बेरस नहीं किया सो आई हैव हैड अ वेरी गुड रिलेशनशिप विद मीडिया तो मीडिया अटेंशन से मुझे डर नहीं और हाँ प्रियंका को लेके आई एम वेरी प्राउड एज एनी मदर शुड बी एंड आई कैन ओनली से हार्ड वर्क एंड डिटर्मिनेशन बहुत मेहनत किया उसने उसको कोई गोल्डन प्लेट में कुछ नहीं मिला सब मेहनत से ही मिला है हार्ड वर्क वेरी वेरी हार्ड वर्क एंड ऑफकोर्स बिग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स जो उसके उनके प्रॉप्स रहे जब वो कमजोर थी तब वो उनके प्रॉप्स थे आज वो हमारी प्रॉप है yeah and the, the part regarding the family and friends i mean she has actually mentioned that in a lot of interviews especially about uh, about her parents about her brother and others but uh, yeah yeah i agree with you i hope i hope that uh, people uh, continue to be kind in and uh, in a world which is uh, increasingly beginning to lose its patience but uh, thank you so much for talking to me take care and uh, all the best for the future we'll have a next interview once you complete 20 years i guess yeah take care <laughs> thank you you too have a great day thank you